And blast off, baby. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to do. I also hope that these batteries will last all the way to the island. We'll find out about that soon enough. <laughs> but either way, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. So, obviously we're making our way over here. But I have a feeling we could also make it over to the cube island. But either way, we made it here. Safe and sound, and surprise there's also no enemies over here. Could we also just like jump off? We can. That is so fun to do. And I love how we can still use the normal, but just watch ourselves off. <laughs> oh, we got ourselves a mirror from here. And a beam emitter. Okay, so there's lots of new things that we got. There's even a sled? Okay. We gotta use that sled once we get to snow area. We could probably also use it in the desert now that I think about it, but you know what? It's fine. We're not going to launch ourselves off of here quite yet because we got the shrine. A reflective device. Rakashag Shrine. Okay, I'm guessing this is where uh, mirrors are going to be. And there's one right here. May there be light. I love it so much. <laughs> Yeah, this very much reminds me of the Spirit Temple, but also the Earth Temple from Wind Waker and obviously Arkansas, respectively. I guess also the Stone Tower, if you want to consider that. So now that I think about it, I wonder if the Stone Tower Temple would also be considered to be like the Spirit Temple or not. I just about missed this up here. I was like, what do we need to do from here? Now it's just making sure that we actually get up high enough and also make sure that we get it on the right way. <laughs> Try mirrors, because why not? We can literally shine things in all kinds of directions. Oh, okay. Now I think we actually need to use all three. Oh, and it's awfully convenient that we could actually make the light just go straight through. I thought it was going to be blocked off at the other end, which is not, and hey, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> okay, that works. It's the most awkward way of doing it. Did I hear? I, I I did hear an enemy. Hello, guys. You guys are still very weak, though. Now, I don't know which one we actually want to unlock, but I know that in the construct room, we got those guys and another reflective area. Okay, I thought it was just going to get out of range, but thankfully it didn't. And, ah, uh, okay, this is just a chest. And I'll drop that down, and we also have a mirror shield. It looks hilarious when you actually pull it out, because it goes from very small to really big. <laughs> I love the fusing mechanism. <laughs> and that is our fourth light blessing, which means we can get another stamina and our heart vessel. I'll probably still keep getting the stamina up right now, because I know that there's other dungeons and stuff that we can go into to get more hearts. But for now, we'll just launch ourselves, because it looks like we could get over to this little island over here, which is probably where it was trying to get us to. <laughs> and of course, there's a little Korok over here. Where are you going, dude? Are we supposed to be getting to you really, really quick? Or like, what? It doesn't seem like it's going down too fast. Unfortunately, I messed it up because I think we're just supposed to shoot it. But at least now we're down here, which is blocked. <laughs> I was hoping that we could just use the stake to like maybe lift this up, but... That clearly did not do anything. Oops. And now I know that there's a light up there, which means we gotta bring light down here somehow. I don't know if it's gonna be really hard to get it down there or not. Maybe it's something as simple as literally just blowing it up. But there's also this chest up here and a Beemos. Hello, I didn't expect you in here. Okay, hello, old map. And this thing, unfortunately, does not have anything in the... I was encyclopedia, <laughs> but in the uh, snappy snap thing, and now we made it up to the top. I also keep forgetting that we can actually take pictures of things. <laughs> I don't remember what this thing's actually for. I keep wanting to call it the encyclopedia, but pop question of the day. Do you guys like taking pictures of creatures and filling up that one menu? But also another question, because we're actually on these islands. How many islands have you explored in this game so far? I know there's quite a bit. Oh, and there we go. I don't know why I didn't realize that there was this sunbeam down here that we could just use. But also, sadly, we couldn't actually use the Amiri shield because Link couldn't tilt up. But we got ourselves another stage as well. 
I have no idea what these things are for, but I'm very curious about that. But now let's see if we can actually make it to the cube. Unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have another means of actually controlling this thing, so we're just gonna kind of have to uh, awkwardly just make our way there. But thankfully, not too bad. Huh. So we couldn't make it up top, but we just barely made it to the parts down below. It's also made some to bottom as well, so I'm assuming that they're kind of just going to interact with each other. Oh, and there's also enemies up here. Which will be self Lomian Labyrinth. And dang, apparently it's really warm down here, hopefully not overly hot. Okay, fortunately it is because Link is taking some damage. But hopefully we can find somewhere to cook though. We should log day one. According to Taro, the character's card into the stone slab read as follows. The dragon ring slumbers in a labyrinth's depth. Waking it, and ye shall receive due compensation. I don't know how to say that word, apparently. <laughs> I'll leave a trail of acorns and nuts behind me so I don't get lost. I mean, okay. So, I'm assuming that's why this maze is over here then. Oh. Huh. Now there is a sea of gloom which we're just going to run by. I know it's not the best, but there's we're not in the depths. I'm not too worried. I've searched and I've searched east patches one by one and haven't found anything. But I've got a good feeling about this last one. The only thing keeping me from exploring now is a late hour. Oh, now it seems to branch off. But considering there seems to be a lot of gloom around here, looks like I might be going the right way. Or maybe not. <laughs> in this corner of gloom, there is a sunshroom. I am impressed of how much progress this has dude made, especially with all the gloom on the ground. Now I went another way because I was like, I want to go through that sand pile. We might just be making our way back, but at the same time, it's so fun just going through here. But also, when in doubt, apparently just go after the gloom. <laughs> No matter how far I go and which way I turn, everything looks the same. It's all covered with energy sapping gloom. I've somehow managed to swallow my overwhelming desire to run home, and will attempt to spend the night here. <laughs> and we could also just simply <laughs> ascend up. Although I don't know if we can just climb these walls or not, but maybe this would help us. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I'm standing in front of the ancient Zonai ruins. What a tremendous discovery! It makes- this makes the terror of uncertainty of getting lost here completely worth it. I'm just such- it's just a shame for me that I have no idea what the ruins are. Oh! So here's the Jasm, but obviously there's supposed to be a way down. Okay, are we supposed to interact with the shrine first, or with this first? For you who conquered the labyrinth of land, I, the ruler of wars, have unlocked a door. From it, the North Sky Labyrinth of the Sky. Find it in the North Sky Labyrinth, I mean. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm glad that we didn't make it up over to the top. Although, that being said, I was trying to make it to the shrine. But it did answer my earlier question of if these things kind of... Of them being kind of, like, mirrored. But another Rauru's Blessing. <laughs> I'm also glad that I was able to ascend, so I was like, hmm, this looks awfully suspicious. I am got a large zonite charge from that. Hey, thank you, Raru. I think this is now our fifth blessing, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> All of this from just exploring the sky. I teleported back to the tower, and now... Pigango is now back here. I don't know just butcher his name, but I think I missed this dude. Oh, I was so engrossed in my work that I didn't realize I had a fellow traveler conversing with me. I was just painting that small island there, as a matter of fact. I'm guessing it's the one that we already went to. I like how we can't even see it. <laughs> Granted, you can't see it very well when the clouds are in the way. <laughs> Ever since the upheaval, the sky has been filled with floating islands. Okay, interesting. That explains the question of, like, what happened. So Ganon probably launched these islands up in the sky. <laughs> that, or maybe it's like Hylia or like Raru's people to be like, yo! We gotta protect these lands. But, yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Speaking of which, on the map, I've noticed that... It's not the depth, but I've noticed that at least near every tower, there is these little flower islands. I haven't been to one yet, but I'm very curious to know what's on them. 
But either way, we're actually going to launch back up and make our way to the dragon right here because we see this big boy up here, which I have no idea if we could actually attack and or if we could even defeat this thing right here. I'm very curious about it. Oh, it shoots almost like a laser beam, like obviously fire, because why not? Oh, they have, <laughs> they have one single eye. Oh, and individual health. Interesting. Definitely not a good idea to try to attack these guys because we just used up all three of our fairies. But we can go in the sky, which I don't know if it's really going to be a great idea to get through here. So she's saying it can still shoot us fire, <laughs> which means we should probably come back since we ha once we have a better weapons. But I forgot we also have the the light arrows on us, or whatever it's called, but we also have the ancient arrows, which I wonder if this is going to give us an advantage against these guys. I know this goes to- I know I know that makes the attack power a lot better. <laughs> Hello, big guy! I had a feeling we probably shouldn't just go all the way up there, but it did go down for a moment, though, so there's that. And we're just going to keep shooting these things in the eyes, because that seems to be going a good, good amount of deal against them. And there we go. So we have one of our better weapons on them, and should get more like attack up against them. But I don't know exactly the best way it would be to actually attack these guys. But dang, it's so cool! I'm so glad to see these guys because it really brings it back to like Zelda one. And targeting definitely makes it a lot easier to actually get these things done. <laughs> now with spinning spin, I guess that's probably going to do a lot better critical attack than it did before. Which, yes, it did, because we just got it about halfway down. I also don't know if Queenox have second phases, but uh, I guess we'll find, about, <laughs> find out soon enough. <laughs> and it is more than halfway down, and it looks like that's not going to be the case. But I like how it doesn't matter which eye you attack, as long as you hit at least like all three of them, or one of them when they're down, rather. It still does good damage. Now I don't know where it's gone. It's gone really high up in the sky. But at least we got Unobo being like, yeah, somewhere. Ow. I knew it probably should have just tried to like go down at the bottom, but that's okay. It kind of looks like a miniature, a miniature sun. A miniature sun going towards us. Now I noticed that it does have an updraft, so maybe it's trying to tell us that we could do that. And that's how we can attack them. Oh. Ow. You jerk. Thankfully, we do actually have enough stamina to be able to, like, attack them. But now I don't know if we can actually defeat it. Hopefully we can, because this does, like, some damage, but not as much as we would actually want it to do. It's almost there, though. <laughs> and we hit it with a key side, and that did the job. <laughs> Sorry, like, I didn't mean to, like, shove you off. Oh, that fight was really fun. Now we got... Ooh, flame horn for 30 and a wing, which I assume is probably going to be like the keys was. Ooh, the guts is probably going to be really good for like elixirs and stuff like that. We got fallen debris. Which I don't know if that would bring it. Oh, it's nighttime again. It looks so pretty. Now we got this jerk like attacking some like random civilian. Like, how dare you be so rude? Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm saved. It's a good thing you arrived when you did. Ooh, deep fried drumstick. That actually looks really, really good. Oh. And I just heard a Korok, or I hear a Korok rather. But I, I, oh, there it is. You sneaky little bugger. Hello, little Korok. <laughs> I like landed down next to the shrine. It was like, yo, I'm here somewhere. You can hear me. Is that a person down here? It's another little Korok. There are a lot of Koroks down here. I was just surprised they're out. Oh, that's probably what I was hearing. I'm all Duga. My friend and I got separated. We are way across there where that scary Malduga thing in the ground is. Which we'll probably get next episode because I want to go down into the gloom area. But of course first we're going to do the shrine. <laughs> Moving the spheres. Suwakama Shrine. Okay. So obviously we got spheres but how are we supposed to move them? What does moving them do? I don't know, I thought I thought for a second that it made this platform go up. Maybe that is what this for. 
But now we're actually just going to drop it in front of us, because I assumed we could just climb over it. I actually needed to exit in and out, because I was like, wait, we can't even grab it from here. Oh, now it's a little bit more tricky, but I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to put them right in between. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like this one. It's like the most simple thing, and yet I just did like the most awkward way of actually getting it through. <laughs> but hey, that's fine. We made it at the end, and now we just gotta make it through here, which I think we could probably just squeeze it in between like that. I don't know if this will work. We'll find out. <laughs> And it did. <laughs> I don't know why I had to think for like two minutes or so just to figure that out, but that's okay. Oh, and there's the dragon again. So I didn't realize that the other dragons were actually here until last episode. So I was like, wait, I thought this was going to be like the light dragon or the dragon of time. I don't actually know which dragon that is. Yes? <laughs> the arrow just didn't reach. But I thought that was the case until I actually looked back at the video and I was like, wait, that doesn't look the same. But it's so weird how it just like disappeared. But either way, we are now going into the chasm. I'm actually going to put on a bright elixir because, huh, helps a bit, but whoa. What is this? Are we going into some kind of underground <laughs> adventure? I don't know why my first instinct was just to go towards it. I'm probably going towards death right now, considering there's a like like right there, but do you want- Oh, it's not even a like like. Oh, it's just an even bigger one of those shrine things. So I'm probably just going to ignore it because I want to know more about what's underneath here before we actually get into combat. Unless, of course, it is a boss or something like that. <laughs> oh, of course these little bugs are now not just leaving me alone. Like, you want to fight so badly, then fine, I'll fight you. But does it seem like the other ones really want to go towards us? <laughs> good job, you notable. There's a good slap right there. Oh, it actually looks like this one has an, en an entrance. I just hope there's no Boca bosses. Okay, that is some fire arrows right there. I don't think that's going to be a very good idea for us. But it's fine. I guess we're doing it now. <laughs> Why are you trying to throw rocks at me, buddy? You, you could have literally just went down and destroyed me. I was hoping that there would be some kind of like entrance, because it looked like one of the skulls. And yes, I see you over there, but the other guys aren't really helping to like help you, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, a big circle. It's virtually nothing, but that's okay. I want to head over there. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is, but I actually want to go towards the light route. So hopefully this thing will leave us alone, it probably won't, because it looks like it is straight in front of our uh, line of sight here. I am sorry for getting the light bloom towards you, buddy. Are you going to eat it? It looks like you're going- oh, okay. It is eating that. Interesting. So I have a feeling it doesn't want to deal with uh, light then, which is interesting. <laughs> okay, please do not notice me. I get what to- okay, now you've noticed me. Hello, big guy. How are you? A frogs! That is an adorable name. You are adorable. But I also want to fight you because you are a boss. Where- where can we- oh! Okay. Only his head. So I'm guessing the small little things are also called frogses? I don't know, though. Oh! But it does want to inhale, Link. I don't know why I'm trying to run over Gloom. I should probably put some Gloom resistance on. And we can also use <laughs> one of these 70 bomb flowers that we actually have to be able to use and actually come up and whack his weak points. So I guess these things are kind of like the underground Talos, considering we can just climb on top of them. Oh hey, that makes sense to have an advantage. Thanks, buddy. Now I think we can just probably blow it up. Yeah, you get it, you know, though. Also, my goodness, that car outside is very really loud. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. Oh, hello. I didn't expect you to leap on me. How are you doing, big boy? We do have plenty of arrows, but it doesn't mean I want to use upset arrows. Ow. What? I thought we had more fairies left. That's also what I meant to say. <laughs> I tried to just shoot it with a light arrow on its face, and it didn't really do anything. But now it's in a really awkward spot. <laughs> and that's okay, because we can use the bomb flowers to just take both it, but also the, uh, the mines out at the same time. Did that get it down? Oh, no it didn't. Hello. Oh, but you can inhale it. 
now that I think about it, I wonder if these things are related somehow to the, the dongos. I always said bongo bongo, but no, nope, that's not quite what it is. I don't know why I linked, this doesn't want to hit its weak spot all of a sudden. And this time it didn't hit us. Thank goodness it didn't. Yes, you just tried to inhale. And taking it with bomb arrows, because, well, it's donate things. I, I don't see crystals. I don't really know why. They don't even really. I actually do look a little bit like crystals. Ooh, we got a fang from it. And a large crystal. Ooh, and a fingernail. Now to run through the pool of gloom, because. Well, we have gloom resistance on for like 10 minutes, so why not take advantage of it? And also because of all these yummy, yummy poets down here. <laughs> now, another question, not necessarily a common question of the day, but I know that you can get armor for gloom resistance, which I don't know why I didn't put that on before we got down here, but do it. It's fine, it's too like now, I already, <laughs> I already put on gloom resistance. But have you guys found a full set yet? I wonder what's up there. So it's just like, that is a big structure. It's probably a, a Yiga thing, so I know that Koga's here. I should probably pay attention to a, you. It's you hurt. <laughs> I just shot it with like one arrow and it just goes down. It's like, bruh, it's a poor thing. I also wonder if we could use it to our advantage and make it good. Oh, it's definitely RP most. But what, we're just going to ignore them and just... Climb up, <laughs> considering those ones are just not really paying attention to us. Just a shoot in the beams there. But it would make it a whole lot easier. So I just kind of wanted to just try to see if we could just climb up there. At least as much as possible. I don't think this is the one that we necessarily want to be on. I'm also glad that we could just turn them off. Okay, where's the enemy music coming from? To hear it, but we don't see anything. Oh! It was just straight up a Yiga, who was, I guess, stuck but was just over a car, and now we can unlock that? I don't know if that was supposed to be that easy, or if the Yiga just ended up getting stuck, but, um, I, hey, we'll take it. <laughs> oh, we got two chests containing a Yiga Tomatic. Oh, a beam turret, and a large crystallized charge. Too bad it's not another Yiga armor area, because we know that those are now in this game, because, well, we got one not too long ago. And, hey, cool, we got something from down here, not just a light fruit. Also, ding, two bosses and or mini bosses in one. That's kind of impressive. But, I think we're actually going to head towards the Gerudo Valley. I don't know why he wanted to call Gerudo Town Valley, but we're going to head towards Gerudo City in the next episode. Because that's probably going to be around where the next dungeon is. If it's different, if it's not, cool. Either way, we'll find it next episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Stop that subscribe button. Just say something down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I will see you in the next video. There is a another Satori area. I think we may as well just bring him here and see where all the caves are because, well, there's probably going to be things in between here and said area, and the best way to find out is by summoning the beautiful, beautiful horse itself. I love Satori, but also, rest in peace Satori, still feels so sad about that. I'm sure a lot of people do as well, there is a lot of caves and stuff, we are definitely exploring these areas, <laughs> but I don't want to ramble on continuously, but yeah, we shall actually leave it here. So until the next video, <laughs> peace.